This is a clip from Saints Row 4, and we're going to use this to achieve the same slow motion effect shown at the beginning of the video. Make sure you have consistent 60 FPS footage to get the best end results. The less variance on your frame time, the smoother the slow motion effect will be. Make sure to prepare the tracks properly, and disable resampling on your videos. This will give you the best image quality. Also, double check your project settings, and make sure everything is correct. It is strongly recommended that you use 60 FPS to achieve a good, clean, and smooth slow motion effect. When everything looks good, proceed to reviewing your clip to find the best part to do the slow motion. Carefully review all the frames of the part that you want to slow down. Sometimes recorded videos have micro stuttering, which causes the video capture to repeat frames. Repeated frames will become more apparent, the more you slow it down, and this causes warping and jerky movement in the video. Once the source video is confirmed to be clean, and showing complete frames, pick a start and end point for the slow motion effect. A good point to start would be one where there is minimal camera movement and full screen post processing effects. This will minimize warping later on after the effect is applied. After choosing a start frame, press S to split the clip at that point. Next, choose the end point for the slow motion effect, and create a split there by pressing S as well. After isolating the section where you want to apply the effect, right click on that part, and create a subclip, then replace the original part with the subclip you just created. This will help in controlling the length of the clip that will correspond to the slowing down of time in the video. Don't forget to disable resampling on the subclip as well. Do a quick check if the start and end frames of the subclip line up properly with the other parts of the video. After checking, Move the end part away to create space for extending the subclip for slow motion. We'll be doing a 1 8 speed slow motion, so we'll extend the subclip by 8 times its original length. There are small indicators on top that show how many times you've repeated the full length of the subclip. Do a quick check if the length is correct, then rejoin the endpoints of the video sections. After rejoining, you can see if the clips line up properly on your timeline. This isn't final yet, and you will have to check again later. Open up your FX browser, and apply the Twixter plugin to your subclip. 1 8 speed is equal to 12.5%, so we'll use that for our slow motion effect. BG motion sensitivity determines how Twixter detects motion in the video. Setting this too low will cause jerky movement, while setting it too high can cause too much warping, depending on the quality of the source material. Let's pre-render to see what sensitivity 0 looks like. Select everything we wish to pre-render, then press Shift plus B to start. After pre-rendering, we'll be able to see the effect of the setting we chose for BG motion sensitivity. Now would be a good time for coffee. Kidding, we're done. Watch and observe the results. Here we can see that the effect isn't anywhere near the smooth slow motion we want. So we'll open up the Twixter plugin settings, and adjust the sensitivity. This time we'll set it to 100. Although 70 is a good balance for most scenarios, this video works well with maximum sensitivity, and isn't prone to unwanted warping. Be sure to test whatever works best for your own source videos. For this one, let's see the results of the pre-render, using 100 BG motion sensitivity. We can see that we got a very smooth slow motion effect, so we're sticking with this setting. Here we can see that we've overextended the clip by a few frames. Sometimes this happens. Just look for the correct last frame in the slow motion, and reduce the subclip length to that point. This will connect the rest of the video seamlessly, and produce a time shift effect. Once everything is set, we can do another pre-render to preview everything smoothly. Simply highlight the parts we wish to preview, then press Shift plus B. If everything checks out, all that's left to do is the final render. Thank you for watching, hope this video helps. Here's another look at the finished super smooth slow motion video.